Welcome into the Recap Rush Hour for Tuesday, April 18th. I'm David Kaplan. It's brought to you by ChevyDriveChicago.com, your Chicagoland Chevy dealers. Folks, I made a lot of calls today to NFL sources that I have in the league and media types that cover it. They're all telling me the exact same thing that Jeff Hughes from The Bears blog, which is a great follow on Twitter. This dude was all over the hiring of Ryan Poles, all over the hiring of Matt Eberflus, and he tweeted, I don't know, about a week ago that the Bears' preference remains to trade out of pick number nine. Now, the right deal has to present itself. The right player has to be on the board that someone wants to come up and get. But that's what he reported. I made a bunch of calls, and I'm hearing the exact same thing. Doesn't mean it's going to happen, but it means that is their preference. Also, the draft boards for all 32 teams should be set by Sunday evening, so we may start to hear some substantive rumor talk early next week. The draft starts on the 27th on Thursday night. We'll have amazing coverage here on our recap channel and on ESPN 1000, the new home of the Chicago Bears radio rights. Former Bears wide receiver Allen Robinson, according to Adam Schefter of ESPN, will be dealt to the Pittsburgh Steelers. It will be a flip-flop of seventh-round picks with Robinson going to the Steelers. The Steelers will pay five of his $15 million salary. The Rams will pay the other 10. They just want him off the books as they start to go through a rebuild. Sure looks like the Bears got that one right. When Ryan Pace elected not to pay him that 18 to $20 million salary, he'll go on his third team in just three years. Unbelievable news out of Buffalo today. Bill safety DeMar Hamlin, who suffered a cardiac arrest on Monday Night Football on January 2nd, fully cleared by team doctors today to return to the playing field with no restrictions. That is amazing. Panthers GM Scott Fitterer said today he has not, despite what people are saying, told Bryce Young that he will be the Panthers' choice at pick number one. Baseball, White Sox, and Phillies are playing a doubleheader at guaranteed rate. I'll have a recap after game two. The Cubs are at the A's again tonight in Oakland. A later start on the West Coast. Marcus Stroman gets the ball for Chicago for David Ross. Cubs were 10-1 winners last night. A five-hit night for Cody Bellinger. And two home runs and a three-hit night, four RBIs. For Patrick Wisdom, Hayden Wisniewski picked up the W. NBA and NHL playoffs continue tonight. And how about this? The NBA has got a, an agreement now with the Players Association for a new collective bargaining agreement. And one of the new provisos in it, if you don't participate in the NBA draft combine in Chicago, you're ineligible to be drafted. Take that, college players that don't want to participate. Wow. Have a great rest of your night. Appreciate you greatly. White Sox, Cubs recaps coming up tonight. Take that.